All right, so here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way. But given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans. But which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guards to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Knee to the body. Missed with that attempt. Back and forth we go here. Oh, huge block. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling should really be entertaining. <laughs> All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Usman gets touched by that kick there. Try to establish that jab. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big knee there to the chest. Nice leg kick lands. Just misses with the straight right. Big kick lands. He lands with the left. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. There by Connor. Big knee to the body. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustment. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Condit gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Condon. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Kamaru. Condon's now dealing with a cheap cut. And both guys really throwing with authority. A lot of power on display from Kamaru Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed 
in the Kobe Covington fight, not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Wow, actually got the takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. We've been busy from bottom position here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Just out of range with that right hook. Got the single collar tied. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Not there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Straight right is there. Fifteen seconds to go. Big kick. Back and forth we go. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect the body to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right on the start. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown? Over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. The natural born killer gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Lands with a right hand. Head kick lands. Condit gets caught with that punch. Usman's knee strike is blocked. Oh, beautiful hook by Condit. And that one was heavy. Big elbow there. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out to space. Find places to rest and recover. Get against the oxygen. Go to the clinch. Find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. It's very tricky when you throw that body kick. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get the Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Usman gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. Shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Let's go. Get him off you. Get him now off. he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. 
All right, well, as expected, nothing easy about it. The fight goes the full 25-minute distance. Could be looking at a split decision here, Daniel. A very close fight. I mean, this is uncomfortable. I've sat there before walking yeah. to the middle of the octagon in a title fight as the champion, not knowing if I had done enough to win. This is a nervous feeling, but I believe the champ did just enough to keep the belt. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' court cards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the natural born killer, Carlos Hogan. All right, so another one bites the dust. Another challenger goes by the wayside. Good.